Hello my very most beautiful Libras. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your September weekly reading. This is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. I have recorded video readings as well as live Zoom readings. And the Zoom readings are on sale for the next five days. You guys can get Zoom readings for $45. And everything that you guys need to know about scheduling is in the description box below. You can also follow me over on Patreon. I do additional readings over there. Spiritual growth, personal development, money and career, as well as love readings. And there's a link for that in the description box as well. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Libras, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Libra's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you. Okay, so Five of Wands in the reverse is here at the bottom of the deck for the general overall energy of the reading. Definitely feels like this energy of trying to cooperate, trying to communicate without arguing, just trying to work through something um, in a positive manner with that five of wands in the reverse you guys for where the connection is right now for the, the energy of the relationship right now we have the sun in the reverse yeah a lot of unhappiness here i think you guys could be struggling when it comes to um, dealing with the energies and the emotions in this situation from this connection it does kind of feel like you could be having a little bit of a hard time. We have the strength card in the reverse for your feelings. So yeah, just feeling like you're having a difficult time, you know, feeling like it's a struggle to, to deal with the feelings or to deal with the energies or just to get through the day um, with whatever this is that's going on here. And just a lot of unhappiness here. So for their feelings and their energy in the, in the situation, we have the seven of swords in the reverse. To me, this can be an apology or a truth coming out, expressing some kind of truth to you. We are going to stop here and clarify, and then we will continue forward. So tell me about this sun card in the reverse. Why is the sun card here in the reverse? The five of pentacles. You guys are both missing each other. So I feel like you guys could have had a separation. That could have been due to an argument, due to a fight, something like that here some kind of conflict. Yeah, two fives here. So there's definitely a lot of challenges and obstacles. I do feel like you guys are in separation from this person. The sun card in the reverse, you guys are both very unhappy, you know, in this separation. And I think you're particularly having a hard time. Five of pentacles though, feeling lost, feeling lonely, whether you had to walk away or whether they did either way, um, you know, still feeling those energies. Tell me about this strength card in the reverse. Why is the strength card here in the reverse? Let's see what fell out. We're going to take both of these. We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse and the Tower in the reverse. It's like a loss of the dream and vision. Because I feel like it's not just this person that you're grieving. I think it's the whole the whole thing, right? So when we're when we're with somebody, we start to create you know, dreams, we start to create plans and, you know, incorporate them into our life and, and start to create plans and dreams and visions for the future. So sometimes it's not just the loss of that person, but the loss of all of that, you know, and I feel like that's something that you're, it's hitting you kind of hard right now. I feel like that's something you guys are experiencing. And the tower in the reverse here says, you know, having a hard time accepting that something is over, not wanting to, not wanting to let go of that dream and vision, not wanting to let go of them. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Let's take a look at that energy. Why is the Seven of Swords in the reverse here? 
Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like you're going to, I feel like this person, their energy is wanting to apologize. Um, you know, they still see potential here. I feel like they're going to be extending an offer. You can kind of see that playing out through the rest of the reading as well. And that could be why you guys are trying to, this energy that we felt in the very beginning of trying to work through whatever this conflict or issue is in a positive, healthy way, you know, without arguing, without conflict, right? So this person's energy, wanting to apologize, wanting to, um, you know, offer something here. The challenge is the star card. So whatever happened here between the two of you, it does need healed. And we so often we want reconciliations, right? Or we want something to work, but we can forget how much work that can be, right? It does take a lot of compassion, understanding, forgiveness, letting go. Uh, it just, it's a compromise, you know. I feel like that's just what's showing up as a challenge, healing what's happened here between the two of you. We're not taking all of those. Tell me about the star card energy. Why is the star card here for the challenge? You got the ten of wands. Yeah, so there could be a lot to sort through. There could be a lot that you guys have to work through. And it could just feel like it's very heavy or just feel like it's, you know, a lot. You know, it's different in this deck. But in the traditional deck, he's got his head buried into his wand. And, and it always reminds me of this um, phrase, you know, you're so focused on the trees that you can't see the forest. And sometimes I can say we're so focused on the little things or the things right in front of us that we lose sight of the bigger picture. And I think that that is something that you guys have realized in this separation is the bigger picture of it. You know, how much you both mean to each other, how much the connection means to each other. So we get so focused on the day-to-day -day problems or the, the struggles, right? So focused on the trees, maybe you lose, lose sight of everything else. And I think the separation has caused you guys to kind of see the forest again, right? So the challenge is healing this. Now, in the area of the best approach, so like basically the advice, the best way to handle the situation, and the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So let's talk about that. And the Four of Cups. So there are some things that need to be released and I, I do feel like there's a lot sometimes the four cups can talk about because he in the traditional deck he is sitting at the root of the tree at the base of the tree and it can talk about needing to get to the root of the problem so some of you guys there are some issues that you guys are having whether it's from them or from you or both right where you guys need to get to the root of it the root cause of it okay um, and there could be some stuff that needs to be released there could also be some some feelings and issues that need to be released, like um, anger, hurt, resentment, things that need to be worked through and healed and released um, because it's causing somebody to be, you know, a little bit closed off. It's causing some of these issues. So there's some deeper rooted things within this connection. The potential outcome or the potential future, okay, is the Knight of Swords. To me, that is the communication. I think it's coming at you very quickly here. Yeah, we got the hangman here. So somebody's had a new perspective, and I think it is caused by this. You got the lover's card at the bottom of the deck, too. It is caused by this break or separation that you guys have had here that has really um, caused this person to have a new perspective. Like I said, it's caused them to be able to see the forest. I think it's done that for both of you, but particularly this person. Yeah, the sun card. They know what they want that's going to make them happy. It's like the sun card illuminates things. I think a lot is being shown to them. They're able to see the whole bigger picture. They're able to see what they want, and I do feel like they're moving towards you pretty quickly here. So we're going to grab another deck here, Libra. We are going to be taking a look at the their true intentions towards you, and then we're going to look at what potential action they could be taking. Show me this person's true intentions towards Libra, please. We got the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. And the Eight of Swords in the reverse. I do feel like some of them especially if they were the ones that walked away. Either way, it you know, they are wishing for um, whatever caused you guys. That's how I'm not going to think of the best way to word the energy that I'm feeling. Whatever was the cause of whether you walked away from them, whether they walked away from you, whatever that cause was, okay? Like I said, I feel like there's some deeper rooted things here, but whatever that trigger cause was, um, I do feel like they're wishing that that, has, that can be released, okay? Whatever the issue is that caused that in the first place. 
I, I do feel like they're worried. Um, they're worried. I, they're going to move back towards you, but I do feel like they're worried that about that still being here and having to kind of face that again and the kind of conflict that it could bring up, making it difficult. Yeah, five of swords. What kind of you know argument if it's still there? So I feel like they're trying to come up. Their intention here is to try to come up with a solution to help release whatever that is so that you guys don't have to experience that conflict. So whatever the issue was that caused either you to walk away or them to, it's like before they even try to come back, they're already trying to think of a solution to that. They're already trying to figure out in their own mind before they even before they even reach out a solution so that that's not an issue, so that they know how to address that, if you guys understand what I'm saying here. So what action will they be taking? We got the Queen of Wands, knowing what they want and going after it. So I love that you have the sun, the sun card down here. And in this sun card, it does have the sunflowers in it as well, which do represent happiness. Um, and here, the Queen is like plucking the sunflower, which represents happiness, enlightenment, right? So it's like this person is recognizing what is going to make them happen or make them happy and then is ready to make it happen. The Queen of Wands, is, she goes after what she wants with a fierceness. She's very bold. She's very assertive. So uh, this person has realized what is going to make them happy and they are ready to move towards you and they're coming with solutions, okay? So that is what I have for you guys. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, also let me know. You can let me know in the comments down below. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, share and subscribe. Most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. So I'm sending so much love and light until next time.